And once I just started anticipating, I just got, I got tired of waiting. What did they do, shoot him out of a cannon or something? If I were to try that, I'd blow two hamstrings, a groin. I mean, that's like amazing. That's, that's like some video game type stuff, like a cartoon or something like that. Frustration early in the ball game. Watch number 11, Arrington. Keep your eye on number 11. Dead ball, personal foul on the defense. Half the distance. Uh, he just kind of shoved him, but they'll run it with Williams. Well, <laughs> LeVar Arrington yeah. just you, swallowed him. You're not going to outrun LeVar. <laughs> Number 11, right in the center. I mean, he just, he just, uh, he's faster. He was a running back in high school and a defensive back. He's faster than Clarence Williams. Clarence can't go around in when LeVar's there. That's Anthony Thomas with that carry. Tom Brady needs to uh, get down and not allow those, uh, not allow Brandon Short and these linebackers to get a free shot at him. Yeah, you got Scioli, Short, and Arrington all hunting you, yeah. and I'd be going in there with the Gophers. Yeah, he drilled him. Third down and 19. On second down, it's Anthony Thomas going outside. And they collar him two yards short of the first down. LeVar Arrington ran him down. I think LeVar Arrington is the best linebacker that I have seen this year, Keith. Bounce that. <laughs> Does he miss it? Well, he can play. Watch him here. Breaks down and makes a tackle. Well, he's out of timeouts now, so... Yeah, he never had a chance. Well, he was out of time. This angle, you'll see him. Here he comes. Nobody picks him up. And a back? No way. Try to cut me, I'll leap over you. And a very talented but undersized Penn State secondary. Dane dropped for a loss back behind the 20 on the first tackle by LeVar Arrington, the sophomore from Pittsburgh. It doesn't seem to matter what the play is or whether it's inside or outside. Number 11 is bouncing, jumping over people. Perfect form tackle. You can't play football any better than that. Well, you can't run him at him if he's lined up inside. So Penn State's changed their strategy, lining him up in the middle so he can go sideline to sideline. The kind of plays to take over games. Samuel bent backward this time by Lemons in the ball game. He's going to get the call. Not much running room at all. Runs right into the defensive front. LeVar Arrington in there helping out. He's been active early. And they're moving him around. Again, he was in the middle of the line there. Again, just to shadow Irvin. Courtney Brown got there first. But look at number 11. Here he comes. Rolls right. Right in the hole. He stops it up, so he hits it high. Brown hits him low. You can't play that much better than that. This time they move him outside. There he is on the right side now. Coming off the corner. Takes on the blocker. Speed moves him, come back and hit Burke from behind. I'm telling you folks, this guy's got speed, he's got strength. Ball was actually hit by Bell. Pressure came from behind by Arrington. He takes him down, so they're playing him inside, they're playing him outside. He's on the kickoff team. And this is a down that Penn State loves defensively. Third and long for Michigan State. This is when they bring him. There goes Arrington. And it's batted down. LeVar may have gotten a hand on it. He did. He may have gotten more than a hand on it. He was up. That ball almost hit him in the chest. He's all presented by Dr. Pepper. Great weekend of college football. This one tipped up and picked off. Brandon Short has it. The second huge play by this defense, and he's out of bounds at the seventh. Arrington tipped it initially. Here's Short. They move Arrington over here. He comes hard. He tips it. He comes back here and makes the interception. Watch this. Two linebackers that are working in tandem, outstanding. Again, Arrington up top, tips it, falls high. Here comes Short, he makes the pick. Arrington's down here at the bottom of your screen and coming. Here he comes and Burke throws it right into the ground. He Had saw no him. chance. He saw him. He looked that way and saw Arrington and knew that he had no shot. And rather than take the sack, just threw it down. It is. There goes Burke, throws, got Scott, but it's batted down. What a play in the end zone. Yep, there's your man, LeVar Arrington. 
He came on the blitz on the last play and now knocks one away. Well, LeVar Arrington's going to come on a blitz from the outside. Uh, Penn State doesn't want to show blitz, but you see LeVar Arrington just times it up perfect. But At the 25, he took a couple of shots. 29 yards, you're saying officially. Ball is out of it, blocked. I think Arrington got up there. Right I think LeVar Arrington came up, and here is the plot thickens. That was not even the special teams on there. That was the, the base defense, and they got the block. Well, that's why the next time down there, they will go for it. <laughs> Running play, no. He didn't make it. LeVar Arrington is the man who led the attack. He didn't come close. No. And they had no movement at all on the defensive line. And you take that gamble, you give the ball to Penn State, great field position. Pressure up the middle and lobbed a, a fade route and nobody was there. LeVar Arrington again hit Tim Couch and really got a lick on the quarterback. Arrington's been impressive. He's blitzed all afternoon. Big play linebacker. Whether the yeast or couch, one of the two confused on that play. A lot of people compare LeVar Arrington to Lawrence Taylor. You know, the speed off the corner. Third down to 10. Couch goes to the end zone again, and it is too far. Here comes a late flag in. Arrington laid the lumber to Couch as the ball was delivered. Defensive holding, an eligible receiver was held beyond the line on a pass that crossed the line. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Arrington again with good pressure in the hold by Penn State.